paper. And when he brought that shit in paper to Takashi, Takashi probably looked like, yo, what you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? I thought we were brothers for life. Like, look, man, I feel all that, man, but go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Bro, Shotty, what's going on? Bro, go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Bro, I ain't playing with you, bro. Bro, go and sign this shit, dog. What the fuck you think this is, dog? You know what time it is, dog? Go and sign this shit, bro. I know your fucking contract finna be over with, with goddamn Atlantic. Epic, whatever the fuck. I know your shit finna be over with, dog. Go ahead and sign this shit, dog. You say you believe in Treyway. You screaming this shit like that, nigga. Go and sign that shit, dog. What the fuck, dog? All right, I got you. It's all good. I got you. No, Shotty, what's up? Shotty, no, we brothers. Shotty not going to let you goddamn run that bullshit on him, nigga. Shotty not going to let you do what you did to scum game. So Stay off that. The guy six nine just got hit for seven fifty. The way that he was on camera afterwards, I know that sound, and that sound is just like that sound. Man, what you doing, man? I know it's you, man. What's up, man? Come on, why you doing this? That was a sound and a look of fucking betrayal. You got to get on camera, you got to let folks know, you know what I'm saying, it's all good, whatever like that, because that's what the people are expecting of you. And now, you're being put in that position, you know what I'm saying, to really be what it is you said that you are. You said that you a beast, you said that you like really the king of New York. Lord Jamal said a long time ago, it, you got to be cut from a different cloth in order to be the real king of New York. And you really mixed words you didn't understand why certain big dogs were patting you on the back and dapping you off like he cool man he cool because they knew that everybody who dapped you off and showed love every one of them motherfuckers were out of the fucking street they are not intertwined with the streets no more like that them motherfuckers is trying to goddamn pay their mortgage there were no real wolves Patting you on the back like, it's all good, except for the motherfuckers around you that you have to pay in order for them to be your friends. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is... Y'all know what the fuck it is. Get your fucking t-shirts. Y'all know what the fuck happened. I I'm not here to talk about that. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you about, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hit them. As street niggas, y'all did nothing wrong. 750, you got three-fourths of a fucking meal ticket. Y'all came off real good and you got this nigga so fucking shook that he can't go to the law because he gonna have, that's the last of his fucking money. You, Takashi, you've painted yourself into a corner and I want y'all to look and listen and learn from this situation. You really allowed these people, the powers that be, to put you in this fucking corner. They boosted up your ego, they gave you the money. King of New York! You the king of New York! They saying it with you, all that good shit like that. Because you were in late fucking tears. So hold on. The powers that be. Shotty, the bloods, and all this shit right here, that's something totally different. That's some I'm talking the powers that be that gave you the money that put you on the platform so that this whole thing is televised. The people that told you it was okay to be this way. The people that told you it was okay to be this way because your death means more sales for the power. Treyway and them, every time a big rapper die, the nigga that was right on side them, the street nigga that was right on side them, they can't never get the money right. They gotta do a GoFundMe and donate. Hey man, let me get in your fucking face, nigga. How in the fuck is it that you fuck niggas that ain't got a goddamn thing going on? The main motherfuckers in the comment section talking ridiculous shit. Ridiculous shit. 
Everybody in AO Nation, I want y'all to go and look at the comments of motherfuckers that's not seeing no good shit, not no positive shit, just slyway negative bullshit. Look at they fucking account. Go look at their thumbnail. I guarantee you they don't have shit going on on their account. They page just dry as fuck, no subscribers, no nothing. And this is a microcosm of what's going on with you in your life. The people that don't got shit going on will be the main motherfuckers telling you how to get some shit going on. The fuck? If you're in AO Nation, make sure you get your Are You Serious t-shirt. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. All advertisers, rappers, and donations go to the old PayPal that's in the description. Um, I will be doing live shows coming up at the end of this month or some shit like that. And I'll be going to Jackson first. So if, so if you know anybody in Jackson or in Alabama for that fucking matter, let me know. Uh, I'm going to hood gas stations, hood spots, only with the street niggas because I'm not these bloggers, especially not these fucking bloggers that take my ideas and use them on their channel and don't give me no fucking credit. Faggot ass niggas. Nation, we trying to get his last song together and all this shit like this. Any fucking... The, the, the street rapper, his, the, the friend next to him, never can get that money going right. Just look at any situation, that nigga on the side. But the goddamn record company, they always get theirs. They ain't never down there in the scramble trying to, oh man, let me get this. Just look at any fucking situation. Every time a nigga is killed in his own city, of course, the record label sit back cool like this was part of the fucking plan. Sales were going down anyway. But the nigga that was on the ground, who had, like, was really in them, you know what I'm saying, front line, the actual street nigga that was next to him, got to scramble and try to get the money in. And even when he get the money, everybody looking at him like he just a, a fucked up ass nigga, because why the fuck he ain't get the money to the family and get the money to the mama or the baby and shit like that? Like, what the fuck, my nigga? I'm out of job. I'm never going to come across a lick like this again. And this is what happened in this situation. But I want to talk about the powers that be. And how in this situation, they make it to where they can't fucking lose. The only person that can't fucking lose is the record company. The same people who enabled this whole thing. The same people that made sure that you had to be out there like that. The same people that made it impossible for you to move without people seeing you. The same people that forced you to have to do these fucking stunts at O Block at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. When you're going through places, it's a, it's a mob of people. You love signing them autographs. It's all good. Man, that shit be so live when you, you know what I'm saying, you really in that moment, man. It's just, it's all good, man. And then it's a moment where your words have to be your motivation because you know that this is really not who the fuck you are. So now you having to act like that person. So now you having to think, what in the fuck would Takashi 6 9 do if this just happened? Oh, Takashi 6 9 be jumping up and down. Fuck you, motherfuckers. You ain't get shit, motherfucker. You ain't no mother it ain't nothing. Trey Way. Trey Way. You know what the people want to see, but you know there's no way that you can do that. Because you've been betrayed and you fucking know it. Come on, man. I know it's you, man. What you doing, man? Come on, man. What you doing, man? But this ain't the first instant that you've seen that you had a snake around you, is it? I told you, boy. I told you, Shotty is getting fucking tired of having to ask. Shotty told you to sign a piece of paper, didn't it? That nigga told you to sign a piece of paper, didn't he? We got the, the, the record coming out the way. Let's, let's talk about Shotty, the nigga who got you fucked up like this. He told you to do something. Just let my nigga, just, just me and you right here. Just, you know, nobody got to know that you saw this video. Just me and you right fast. He told you to sign something, didn't he? He told you to do something, didn't he? And you, and, you know what I'm saying? You hesitated on some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no investigator. I'm not no, you know what I'm saying? I let, you know, Diamonds Live and, and all the other faggot ass blogs, you know what I'm saying, do that investigative shit, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And take my shit. But 
Y'all know this man, Treyway ain't really been, you know what I'm saying, vocal like that. You know what I'm saying? He kind of been falling back a little bit. Just like any motherfucker would right before they strike. When you plotting on doing something, you really start thinking like a nigga like, man, they be getting most niggas off social media, so let me get the fuck off this shit. You know exactly who did this to you, but you can't say shit, can you? Because that's going to end your whole career, won't it? So now you in a hole. But he told you to do something, you didn't do it, but where you fucked up was the line that you crossed, you was so fucking flamboyant with this shit right here that you didn't even recognize when you crossed the motherfucker. To where you left from just trolling to actually being in some real legitimate street shit. You really thought them security guards were fucking for show. See, this is the oldest trick in the book as far as prison game goes. Um, it's like boo game. It's like, all right, so uh, you see an old white man. If you've been in prison long enough, you can tell who weak, you know what I'm saying? But also not only who's weak, but who got some support at home. So you in this whole, you've been in this whole goddamn 15 years, you ain't got no fucking support, you know what I'm saying? So this is really how you eat, by just, you know what I'm saying, wrapping motherfuckers up with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be able to spot fish and spot the motherfuckers and attack faster than everybody else that is on the same thing. All y'all sharks, but ain't no fucking food in this bitch. You'll eat this nigga if he, you know what I'm saying, showing the weakness, you know what I'm saying? But you, you know what I'm saying, you see food, you're going to go get it, period. So here it is, you see the motherfucking old white man come in, whatever. So what you you a team up with another shark, whatever like that, and y'all make it to where I right, you go act like you finna go eat them, whatever like that, and I'ma come save the day. And I'ma tell everybody in the dorm, don't fuck with him, know what I'm saying? It's a good man and shit like that. Know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of different ways to do it, but you say today like, hey, nobody fuck with him, know what I'm saying? It's my motherfucker, know what I'm saying? Y'all leave this man alone, man. This man righteous. You gain his trust like that. Now he can walk around the dorm strictly off of your name. Now when you come and ask for something, there's no way that he can refuse you. Hold. Quiet! There's no way he can refuse you. But in that little sliver of a chance that he does, He's been walking through this motherfucker. Never, he never had to learn where and where not to walk, what and what not to do, because he's been. That's that's your homeboy. You know what I'm saying? So now, what you do? You might do this before you ask him. You might, but you already did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying a long distance. You might make some niggas attack him for another reason. You getting them deep now. Make some niggas attack him because, you know what I'm saying, he said the wrong word. He cussed, and, and this nigga is a, is a, a, he really religious, and he cussed in his presence. Just any bullshit ass reason. Man, they, you finna go in the bathroom, now I'm a key for this shit, whatever like that. You again step in and save him. See, man, I'm telling you, man, it, it's serious here, but nobody fuck with him at my dog. To where he understands that everything that he does is fucked up in that motherfucker, and the only reason he's alive is you. Now, if you ask him for something, there's no way he can deny you. If he does, you know what I'm saying, he understands he's going to get what's, which is impending death. His life is on the line. And this is what happened with you, big dog. He pushed you so far in the fucking wilderness to where you can't even find your way home. You so fucking deep in the goddamn woods, nigga. Hold on. What you consider home is no longer safe. You know what I'm saying? And that's boo game. You've been had, bamboozled, hoodwinked. Now, I don't like to give problems without giving solutions. 
In this situation, what you're going to have to do is back the fuck up. Back the fuck up completely, though. This rap game was never for you. You were only to be used and abused. This is all that you were in the rap game for. Because you came in too early, and y'all let this be a lesson to every artist who just can't wait to get on. Let this be a lesson to you. This is what happens when you come in the game too fucking early. Without developing your skill, without developing your artistry. The only position that you can play is the fucking court gesture, the clown. Because your personality, your persona, your antics are going to overshadow everything else. And you need them to. Because if you had to survive on talent alone, you would have been dead. So what you're going to have to do now is back up from being an artist. You're going to have to cut that whole shit off. You know what I'm saying? You can still be a personality and shit like that, but as far as being an artist, it's over with. You can attempt to uh, apologize and ease the shit, whatever like that, and if niggas don't accept that shit, you have to back the fuck out. Get your hair back the way it was, and let this be a motherfucking lesson to every other goddamn culture vulture that there is out there. You can only fake the funk for so fucking long. That boo game I was telling you about earlier, you only run that shit, you know what I'm saying, for so long before a motherfucker check out, go to another block, and shit like that, and you gotta go catch another one. The street's always gonna eat, because there's always gonna be some wandering fucking, you know what I'm saying, a guppy, a wandering fucking deer that's gonna come out there too fucking, you know what I'm saying, feeble, and the street gonna eat. Because it's always a starving motherfucker in the street. Always a starving motherfucker. They never had enough. If you don't want it, I'm going to take it. This is why I'm urging niggas to leave the streets before it's too late. As we saw in this situation right here, it looked like money was the motive. But please believe. Control, jealousy, domination... Power had a lot to do with this shit. Shadi has been trying to brand other artists for a while now. It's not working. It's not. He's trying to run with this nigga Al Sean Martin and shit like that. Hold one second. Shut the fuck up. He's been trying to run with other artists and it hasn't been working. His only meal ticket is 6 9 What? Shotty did is merely what any other street nigga would do or how he uh, deemed himself the new Suge Knight. This is the new death row. You secure that fucking bag. He told 6 9 look, I know this is a fucked up deal, but sign this motherfucker, nigga. You out here walking on my goddamn name. You out here living in, you know what I'm saying, stepping down on fuck niggas, being a real gangster on my name, nigga. You don't know what the fuck this nigga got going on in his fucking life. His mama can have a disease. His goddamn girl could be going through something. Baby mama, child support payment, anything. He can see anything in the future for himself. And he's realizing, I need to goddamn lock some shit in now. Let me goddamn go ahead and do this shit before motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Before this nigga get some bright ideas. This nigga going to Europe and shit like that. Maybe this nigga expanding his mind. Maybe this nigga think, you know what I'm saying, he didn't got some bright ideas or something like that. Let me make sure I still got this motherfucker on the lock. And I don't want no motherfucking handshake saying we're going to be brothers forever because I know I ain't this nigga brother. So I need something in goddamn paper. And when he brought that shit in paper to Takashi, Takashi probably looked like, yo, what you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? I thought we were brothers for life. Like, look, man, I, I feel all that, man. But go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Bro, Shotty, what's going on? Bro, go ahead and sign this shit, bro. Brian playing with you, bro. Bro, go and sign this shit, dog. What the fuck you think this is, dog? You know what time it is, dog? Go and sign this shit, bro. 
I know your fucking contract finna be over with goddamn Atlantic, Epic, whatever the fuck. I know your shit finna be over with, dog. Go on here and sign that shit, dog. You say you believe in Treyway. You screaming this shit like that, nigga. Go on sign that shit, dog. What the fuck, dog? All right, I got you. It's all good. I got you. No, Shotty, what's up? Shotty, no, we brothers. Shotty not gonna let you goddamn run that bullshit on him, nigga. Shotty not gonna let you do what you did to scum game. So as you motherfucker looking at this goddamn boy like he the victim on some shit, man, niggas ain't finna let you walk over them and then walk down the road and go to a fucking a pop culture where you don't need no goddamn security because he understands if you get to the other side of this goddamn tunnel, you may not need security no more. If you pull a, 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 a Iggy Azalea, if you pull a goddamn a Flo Rider, a goddamn B.O.B., well, you don't actually need no motherfucking street niggas around you. He's over with. Now he got to call you and ask for money for his fucking labor that he trying to start. Hell no. He trying to keep you in the goddamn streets. And I'm starting to think now, maybe you going to Europe really made him open his eye like this nigga getting love everywhere. This nigga might not need me no more. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, you try to get another motherfucker over here. He going to act real cool on the surface, my nigga. He going to be real cool on the surface, my nigga. As a tiger, as a shark, it gonna look all good on the surface. But best believe his mind just going like, how in the fuck can I goddamn get this nigga in a yoke, nigga? Because his life is on the line. Y'all are out here playing game. Nigga, you 21 years old, but nigga's life is on the line. You doing shit that, that niggas that are 50 years old been trying to do their whole life and have failed. Shot at 30 years old and he trying to he trying not to end up like them old street niggas. You out here smiling, laughing, having a good fucking time. And then Slyway, he's seen that you kind of smart, that you're not as dumb as you portraying to the people. So now this nigga trying to think like, oh man, this nigga really trying to get me like I'm the dumb nigga. What the fuck? So you really think you're gonna swindle a street nigga? Like, dog, your contract finna be up. Why the fuck ain't you signing this fucking treyway? I got something for you. I got something for you. You think you're going to leave me in the hood? I got something for you. Let this be a motherfucking lesson to every motherfucker who think they're going to use hip-hop as a cultural vehicle, as Lord Jamal fucking said. This is how you get to your, your, your goals and, and, your, and, and all the things that you want to achieve in life. Just ride hip-hop because these niggas too stupid to have a fucking filtering system. These niggas are too fucking stupid to actually um, ask of the artists that they fucking admire, uh, cherish, uh, fucking, what, you know what I'm saying? They don't even have sense enough to require an artist to be a fucking artist, all the fuck you have to do is have dyed hair and use auto-tune. Dyed hair, auto-tune, tattoos, and be a banshee. Ah, look, look at me. Look, a peacock, that's it. And the reason for that is because 95% of the world are sheeple. They'll follow anything that looks like it's worth being followed. Um, I call it monkey bait. Anything shiny, they'll look at it. Oh, oh, look at the lights. You, you go to Las Vegas, whole bunch of lights. You know what I'm saying? All you need is a, and don't fucking forget. I'm not going there. But that's, you know, what took place and shit like that. And, and, you know, I, I was going to say, you know, the baby mama and shit like that. You know, I don't have no issues letting the nigga know that a baby mama really did that, whatever. And, and it wouldn't be impossible for her to do, seeing as how she was unscathed. And I just don't, I don't rock with that whole thing. Um, I don't rock with that whole thing right there. Well, you know, uh, and I hear these lame ass bloggers. Uh, she don't got nothing to do with it. And uh, she, don't, uh, she shouldn't be. What the fuck? If she don't got nothing to do with it, why the fuck she living high on the hog? If she don't, so, who, dog? My nigga, who the fuck was that? Um, we were talking about feminists. She was speaking about feminists want equality until, you know what I'm saying, it's something bad. 
So you want all of the perks, all the positive shit that a man gets, you want that. But when it comes to being equal in court, oh no, oh no. As far as the law go, oh no. And that's why I fuck with Trina Gill. Go look at her fucking blog. Uh, I'm going to put her YouTube channel in the description box. Um, she is a black female that Rhea Dia speaks about what the fuck is going on from a female perspective. But Rhea Dia straight to it like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you are going to profit and take advantage of everything that I have which you do not deserve in the least bit why in the fuck shouldn't you have to fall when I fall stupid bitch big face podcast hit the paypal